What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you some of Pro Tools 9, of course. It is the leading software instrument inside of the recording industry. Anyway, we're going to focus in on today on color track or color coding your tracks. That way you can stay really, really organized in different fashions. You know, that's what I love about Pro Tools 9 is it, it uh, offers you uh, multiple ways to organize. And one way is color coding, but multiple ways of color coding. Anyway, um, let me show you guys what I mean. Open up your Pro Tools 9 so you can follow along with me. And uh, I've got mine fired up right here. Now, by default, Pro Tools always uh, defaults the colors by the type of track. So if we take a look here, let's zoom in on these guys. See all these blue guys? Um, and we got some random token green guy. Anyway, uh, the blue guys are all audio tracks. So each one of these tracks are audio until we get down to, you know, like a green one. A green one is actually an auxiliary track. And um, we go down a little further. Instrument track is orange. MIDI track is purple. And the master fader, where is that guy? There he is, is red. So the different types of tracks is that one way of color coding them. And like I said, it's by default. Now we can change these to our likings. Now we can color code things to according to groups, like the groups that we have down here. If you have a bunch of groups, you know, sometimes you want to see the tracks. OK, let me see what's grouped together visually with colors. So we can, we can change that. So let's, let's dive right into the preferences. Simply go up to the top, hit Setup, go down to Preferences, and that's going to open up this guy, the Pro Tools Preference. Now, um, you want to make sure you're under the Display tab, not any other one of these tabs, but the Display tab. And you're going to be over here under Color Coding. Um, now, we're going to uh, take a look at Default Track Color Coding, because this is the section that we want to focus on right here. Like I said, by default, it, Pro Tools should have Track Type selected. Now, um, if we wanted to see all these tracks color coded as far as groups, let's select Groups, and then simply hit, whoops, hit uh, OK down here. And now, let's look at our, tra our tracks now. See how these change to like the kick, snare. These are all drum tracks. I grouped all the drum tracks together already. And now they're all this like bluish, light bluish, I don't, I don't know, teal color. Um, but now those are, are a set of colors. We go down a little bit more. We have green, because these are all grouped. I have guitars, three guitar tracks that are all grouped together. Cruise even more. So every single groups, um, see if I select a bunch of tracks, as you can see, that's grouped together. The drums are grouped together. Let's see, these three guitar tracks are grouped together, and they're purple. Uh, these three other guitar tracks are red. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, what about those black ones? What are those black ones? Well, the black ones are actually represent no groupings whatsoever. So that's why they are all black. Um, not because they are grouped together, it's because they are not grouped together. So they get basically no color coding, I guess. So if I select this track, as you can see, it's not selected. It's not uh, grouped in with this one at all, but um, they are with the black color. So let's go ahead and change it to something else. Let's go back to Setup, go back to Preferences, and uh, let's do Tracks and um, MIDI Channels. So let's hit OK. Now these are going to color coordinate with the audio region section. As you can see right here, like these, whoops, see how this top one is green? We cruise over to the right. This one is green. Oh, so now the audio region, this guy right here, this purple one, the second one down, cruise over to the left, it's purple. So they match each other as far as the audio region color and the highlighted track section color. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of do it like that. But I think that's probably one of the m least used color coding because it, it just looks like a bunch of colors. It, does, it doesn't necessarily, um, it just looks like a giant rainbow, to be honest. But anyway, that, it just gives each track a different color is what that one does. So let's co go back to setup, go back to preferences, and we'll cruise down to uh, tracks and MIDI devices. Hit OK. And that is basically the same thing. Um, as you can see, the, the MIDI tracks will get actually black. 
So whether it's MIDI or instrument track, because those are kind of similar, that's the only difference. But every other track is still individually different colors and they match together. Like this one is green and it matches this green. So um, what I like to use personally is I like to use um, either groups or track type, depending on where I'm at. If I'm first starting to record everything and all lay down all the tracks, I, I like to use the track type. Now once I get into mixing section, I, I like to group things together and then I'll switch it over to groups. So that's kind of just pretty much what I do. But it's up to you guys. There, it's your preference on how you want to use Pro Tools, but there, there you go. Now you know how to use those. If you do have any other questions, please visit our website and check out all of my Pro Tools videos. They're really cool. Mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9, as well as type up an email if you have a question. Shoot it over at request at Mahalo.com. Also, rate, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys.